Ransomware encrypts your data and demands money to decrypt them back. On average, more than 4,000 ransomware attacks have been seen per day since January 2016. The number is still rising. In this video, you will see how ransomware works and how to recover from a ransomware attack. At the end of the video, you will also know how to protect valuable data from a ransomware attack. Even if you haven't been a ransomware victim yet, these tips will prepare you in advance, so watch the whole video without skipping. Before we start this guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. How does ransomware work? Ransomware attacks are common for businesses. Their system contains essential data for businesses to run. If the ransomware locks their data, the business will shut down. So they have to pay the ransom. That's why hackers target businesses. However, ransomware attacks are not just limited to businesses. It has affected home users and government networks also. The most widespread WannaCry ransomware affected several government departments and interrupted operations for several days. Ransomware Spreading Methods Phishing Email The most common medium of a ransomware infection is phishing emails. Over 54% ransomware attacks happen using phishing emails. Cyber criminals send an email with attachments to the targeted users. The email is written in a way that the user is lured into opening the attachment. The attachment contains macro code, which downloads the malware on your system. Remote Desktop Protocol Another popular spreading method of ransomware is using the RDP. Remote Desktop Protocol is used to access the computer remotely for troubleshooting purposes. RDP usually runs over port 3389. People who don't even use RDP leave port 3389 open on the internet. Hackers can easily identify such systems and then use brute force attack to crack their administrator password. Once they get access to your computer, they infect your system with ransomware easily. Clickbait Ransomware also spread using clickbait. Cyber criminals might post something on the websites or on social media sites that creates curiosity to click on the link. Once you click on that link, you download the ransomware on your system. Drive-by downloads from a website. Hackers take advantage of the popular website's vulnerability to embed the redirection code that redirects users to cybercriminal's website. This website hosts exploit kit software that scans your system for vulnerability in the background. The exploit kit software provides a list of your system's weak points to the hackers. Then they use the weak point to enter your system and infect it with ransomware. Hackers have embedded the redirection code on the advertisements of popular websites like the NFL, BBC, and the New York Times, so you should also pay attention when clicking on the advertisements. These are the most widely used methods of spreading ransomware. However, hackers use several other ways, such as using the USB device or removable media and pirated software to distribute the ransomware. The Infection the next step in the ransomware cycle is starting the infection. Once the malware reaches your system, it starts infecting other computers on the network. Then it communicates with the command and control server to generate the cryptographic key. Encryption Now the malware goes to every folder of your computer and starts encrypting the files. It looks for particular file extensions such as office document files, images and videos, and databases. Demanding money After encrypting your files, the malware leaves a ransom note in every folder in the form of a text file. It also changes the wallpaper of your desktop with the ransom note image. The ransom note mentions that all of your data are encrypted and you need to pay the ransom to get the key. They give you a limited time to make the payment, otherwise they will delete the key and you will lose your data. Unlocking System The users are supposed to pay the ransom. After that, they will get the decryption key, which can be used to decrypt the files. However, paying the ransom doesn't guarantee that the decryption key will work. Around 42% of users who have paid the ransom haven't got their files back, so we advise that you don't pay the ransom. So what can you do instead? How to recover from a ransomware attack Isolate the infected system You should isolate the infected system as soon as you know about the ransomware. Disconnect it from the internet and local network and also detach any connected storage to prevent the infection from spreading. Identify the ransomware Your next step should be identifying the ransomware name. 
you can check the ransom note or the extension of the encrypted files to know its name. You can also use some tools to identify the name such as ID Ransomware or CryptoSheriff. The links are in the description. Report to the authorities. You should report to the authorities about the ransomware attack regardless of the outcome. Your reporting helps the authorities to understand the danger and contribute to the data collection of such incidents. You can file the complaint online to the FBI. The link is in the description. Check if the decryptor is available. The next thing you should do is look for available solutions. You can check the No More Ransom project. You can get the decryptor for most ransomware free or at cost. You can also search on the internet for the decryptor. However, if the ransomware is new, there are fewer chances of finding anything. Evaluate your options. When your system is infected with ransomware, you need to evaluate the options. The first option is the one that ransomware gives you, paying the ransom, but it would be best if you did not take this option. First of all, you can't be sure that even after paying, the hackers will give you your files back. Plus, if you pay them, your money will contribute to the ransomware activity. So the next option you have is to clean the infection. To clean the infection, you need to scan your computer with anti-malware. The anti-malware will remove the malware responsible for encrypting your files. However, it won't be able to recover your files. To recover the files, you can take the Help Your File Recovering tool such as Shadow Explorer or Recova. However, in most cases, the ransomware deletes all the shadow copies of your files so that you cannot recover them using recovery software, but it is worth trying. You can also try restoring your system to a previous date. However, they are not useful in such a scenario. Another option is to wipe the system completely, which is the best option. The best way to prevent the ransomware from coming back is to wipe the system and reinstall the fresh OS completely. If you have taken the backup of your files on an isolated disk, you can restore them. Also, if you have taken backup to the cloud, the chances are they are not encrypted. So you can check them using the browser, then try to restore the version before you were infected with the ransomware. What to do to prevent ransomware attack? Once you recover your PC, you should start following the best practices to avoid the ransomware attack. Even if you haven't been infected with the ransomware yet, you can protect your valuable data by following these tips. Follow internet best practices. While you are online, you should stay cautious. Don't download the attachment from suspicious emails and never click on shady links. Also, it would be best if you stayed away from the pirated content serving sites. Create isolate backup. You should take a backup of your essential documents on a separate drive. This drive should not be connected to the local network or internet. This way, your data will stay away from the infection. Use immutable backup. The immutable backups cannot be changed or altered. You can use immutable backup like object lock to make your files unchangeable during the time you set. In case of any ransomware attack, you can quickly restore the backup and start your business. Use a good anti-malware. Having a robust anti-malware suite is a must. It will block the ransomware before they start encrypting your files. So it would be best if you had anti-malware with strong real-time protection. Keep your system and software up to date. Hackers exploit the vulnerability of your operating system and software, so you should install the latest security patches to your system without delay. Disable admin rights for users who don't need them. If a user doesn't need the admin rights to work, don't give them. This way your whole system won't be affected. If you follow these tips, you can live without worrying about data loss due to ransomware. That's it for this video. If it does help you, press the like button and share the video with your friends. We keep uploading videos related to computer security, so subscribe to our channel and press the bell button to make sure you don't miss anything.